He's going to be motoring out any second. Ooh, let me get his attention here. Come on, big fella. I'll tell you what, Jeremy, this guy's one of our most unpredictable animals in the zoo. Awesome. You never know what this big fella's going to do. Just going to get his attention. Looks like we're getting it now. Come on, big guy. Here we go. Oh, man. Now, we're going to focus your attention on the canal. It's going to be slowly breaking out any second. Boy, <laughs> Boy does this make me nervous when he does this. Come on, big fella. He's going to line me up now. Here we go, slowly but surely. Looks like I've got him. He's on his way. Tell you what, you guys think he looks big from up there, Reg? He looks to me down here. That's exactly how he worked out in the wild. He's starting to line me up now. Look at that intensity. Come on, big fella. Here we go. Thank you. 
say, palm facing down. There we go, we got it. You should know exactly where to fly to. Let him play with it, that's alright. I love this thing. Anyone with a 50? Just kidding, just kidding. Alright, so we'll get this straight back up to you. You stand up for me? Put the arm out to your side again, that's it. Actually, let's make it easy for Matari today. Put both arms out to your side. Now, flat really hard and come and get it. <laughs> just joking, just joking. One arm to your side, one arm to your side, palm facing upwards. That's it, just like a little landing pad. And once Matari faces that in your palm in your hand, just put a couple of fingers over the nose. And that's Matari. Oh, that's Matari. You know we're going to bring out some of the best buddies. Look, 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 look. Hello. Cockatoos. Oh, hello. Cockatoos. I think you may see these birds in the wild. They are very common around here. They sure are, Jenna. And the black cockatoos are so gracefully flight. And uh, people like Major Mitchells, they go into the Crocodile Museum every day. They have an absolute ball. They certainly do. But at the moment, I want to introduce the little species hello. of hello. the bird world. Our red coloured and rainbow lorikeet. Josh, you know what? There's lots of people in the water, so why don't you jump in the water? Oh, 
sweet, dude. Thanks. Let's get Mari's attention on that. Thank you, Sean. I don't really want to get cut off today. Come around here, big fella. Now, watch the difference when I get in the water. Oh, of course he doesn't do it. But here he comes. His first instinct as soon as I get in the water is to get me out, because that's his territory, and that's his home. I'll tell you what, I'm a little nervous over here. There's not much room, and that's because I am. Oh, big fella. Oh, wow. There we go. How's that? I'll tell you what, he's moving today. Now, in Mari's jaws is over 3,000 pounds for square inch closing jaw pressure. That's more than any other animal on the planet. Closest living animal is a hippopotamus, has about 1,500 feet aside. So no other animal on Earth comes close to the jaw pressure of the saltwater crocodile. Now it goes without saying, crocs are dangerous in the water and at the water's edge. But there's another place you can run into trouble, and that's an area that's overhanging the water. Uh, Rich, I might just get you to get it heading, uh, heading your way. Actually, while we're on the, the subject of Richie, for all the ladies out there, Richie is single. Yeah, that's right. He collects Star Wars action figures. Lives it up with his mom. And he's a real cash. Just not helping. I just leave Murray there. Yeah, they try every show. Come on, Murray. All right, so we'll take Murray up the other end here. Even though he loves the idea of just being stuck in the corner there. Come on, Murray. Look at that, he's just hanging his mouth open. And that's a territorial sort of display, just hanging his mouth open like that, and letting him know that's what I have to tend with if I run by. But now that he's heading in your direction, Richie. All right, so we'll take him up this end and we'll do a couple of tidal walks. It is a natural behavior which crocodiles We'll do it out in the wild. One of their favourite animals to pick up using a tail walk is fruit bats. What the fruit bats like to do is roost above the water, hanging upside down from the branch of a tree. So it makes them the perfect animal for a crocodile to do a tail walk and grab a hold of. So when Murray comes over for this, he'll pop up and he'll have a look first. He'll angle his head up and he's ready to go, and you'll see that tail start to twitch again when he's thinking about coming out. So that's where he gets his power from. Some of our crocodiles get as high as this top rail. So sometimes they get out past the base of their tail, moving it straight up out of the water. So they start doing it from the time they're little hatchlings, they'll launch out the frogs and the insects and the reeds, and then they still do it as adults. If there's a possum or a lizard or a snake or something on an overheating branch, something the crocodile will do in the tail. Can't worry. Now their eyesight's very good and orientated, but they do have excellent vision. Oh, that's good. Good towel walk. Try putting around this way a little bit. Around this way, Murray. It's a little bit intimidating sometimes because he has to look at the little fish and sort of stares at your head. Murray. Oh, that's the fight. That's that jaw pressure Josh was talking about. Oops. Another fish. Go get Josh. <laughs> so, less than there, don't climb out and anything which overhangs the water. Alright guys, now the rock territory starts about 600 kilometers up north around the town called Rock Hampton. Now it certainly continues all the way up over the top end of Australia and heads all the way down to the groove of Western Australia. All the waters are where these guys reside. Alright, let's get my out of the water. Come on. Look at the rat, look at me. What's up here, buddy? That's better. I need longer arms. Murray. Oh, you're staring at me today. See, his back legs are pulled in, he's ready to lunge forward. You know you haven't seen me for a while, don't you? <laughs> I'll take the easy way out. <laughs> Alright, but out of the hard side of the ground, away from the water's edge, I can take a seat here as long as I keep an eye on Murray. And Murray is one of our quickest, cheekiest crocodiles. But he knows I can get up and get out of his way. He's not designed to be so fast out here. At that water's edge, yes, they've got that initial strike where they can go in the blink of an eye, half their length. But after that, once they're right out of hard solid ground, they're too big and bulky to run us down. A crocodile which is large enough to see us prey 
is too heavy. Once it gets away from the water's edge, it's going to drag that towel behind him. It's acting like a dead weight. It's slowing him down. But in the water, they can go about the cruising speed of a dolphin over short distances. So you've got buckets and none are trying to outswim one. So all it means for us, if you stay back out of the water, away from the water's edge, you won't come into conflict with a large male saltwater crocodile. In Australia, crocs are our apex predators. We don't have lions, tigers, we don't have bears, but our crocs, they play a vital role in their ecosystem. That's keeping our waterways healthy and resilient. Exactly, and have a look at them. They are the last swimming link to the dinosaur era. 260 million years in the making, and that changed for the last 65 million years. So we don't expect you all to go away today the loving crocs like we do, but we do hope that you go away with a little more appreciation for these amazing animals and the role that they play in our environment. Now Steve, he loved crocs with everything he had. That was no secret to anyone. And he passed with that passion and enthusiasm on to all of us here at the zoo. So now it's our job, our aim, and our mission to help keep Steve's dream and his legacy alive. And the rest is up to you. Get out there, live a little on the wild side, and always remember, cross world! See you later, everyone. Thanks, Cody. Enjoy. <laughs>